Hey there, Gemini. How's it going? Thank you so much for tuning in. This is a special edition brought to you by Spiritual Guidance Academy. Nicole. So um, this is only going to be featured on her channel and her channel only. And for those of you that may not know me, my name is Carolyn B. And um, I invite you to check me out. I'm a tarot reader. And let's just see. We'll pull you a couple of cards, Gemini, and see what's going on. All right, you are an air sign. Ruling planet, Mercury. <laughs> Nicole may be watching this like, oh, Carolyn, don't you dare. <laughs> I've got this ongoing joke, uh, you know, in electronics and stuff like that, you know, uh, people like, it's Mercury. <laughs> you know, automobile accidents, anything like that, things break down. Miscommunication issues, like anything that could possibly get in your way, like standing in line <laughs> at a gas station. When the person in front of you is just scratching their lottery tickets and then buying more, you're just like, come on, like I'm going to be late for an appointment, Mercury. <laughs> totally just kidding. However, that can actually work to your benefit, my dear Geminis, all right? Love my Geminis, very good looking. So we've got a card for you here. This is the Six of Swords. This is Detachment. Look at this. She's just like, oh, honey, I don't think so. You know, this could have to do with love, health, friends, family, finances. Um, but wow, this this is fierce. Crosswatcher, this can go vice versa, you know. But let's see here. Six is also too, uh, you know, possibly paying too much attention in one area that's been coming up a lot. We also have the, it's finding that balance because you were paying too much attention in one area, it possibly could have been a relationship that really was just like, all right, that's it, <laughs> I'm done. Not for all of you, because again, like let's say if you're in a perfectly happy relationship, this could have to be detaching from, you know, friends that really aren't that good for you, that try to come back into your life, because they, th they seem to think that they can take advantage of Geminis, which is beyond me. I mean, they're some of the most kindest people out there and but they're not stupid they've got that dual <laughs> that dual thing going on the twins right there so you've got uh yeah it's really uh interesting if you really look into it but you're detaching from that and that might get people upset or people may be like you know what you don't talk to me and you feel like maybe possibly things are um uh like the emotions automatically shut down, you know, that is, uh, it can work as a strength for Gemini. However, it can also work against you. So do be mindful of that. And again, you do not have to, these cards are not set in stone. And if you do not like what I say, then you do have the ability to change those, you know, just look at these like a heads up. All right. Uh, we have the Knight of Cups here. This is empathy. All right. So a lot of you are empathic. That is really no surprise. All right. A lot of you do hold things in. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a lawyer, but please do be mindful of, you know, checking your uh, stomach and stuff like that. Uh, something to do, too, with um, like heart, like overstressing. And I mean, it's just like, well, duh, Carolyn, look at the times that we're in. All right. But we were aware about something like this happening so it's just being prepared however you're like a sponge you're absorbing um everyone else's energies whether they belong to you or not and you may not even know you're doing it how to get rid of them well those are going to be some other videos i invite you to check out as well all right but the knight of cups somebody also wants to be your knight in shining armor because they may see what you're going through but for some reason, I feel like their hands are tied with this particular situation, whatever it may be. Could be a long-distance relationship. Uh, maybe they're stuck in a certain area and can't necessarily get to you. All right. And let's see. Uh, we'll pull you one more card to see what else we may have as a message for our uh, Geminis. All right. It's for possibly October 2020. Five of Cups right there. Look at that. All right. So this is pretty much just like, all right, you know what? I've gone this way. I've gone that way. What is going on? Uh, or possibly a Gemini. You broke this person's heart and they're just like, please take me back. I swear I'll never cheat or lie or steal from you again. 
could be. Maybe some of you are like, wait a second, hold up here, Carolyn. I'm in a perfectly happy relationship, you know. Big shout out to all of you too, because I've got some wonderful friends that, you know, just got married and are, you know, Gemini's and they're just like, thank you. The search is over. Thank you. <laughs> Could still be very happy and every, and like disasters happening, but they're just like, you know, I'm still grateful. So, uh, you are an air sign and that's what everyone is drawn. That's why people are drawn to you and that's why you're so fabulous. So, uh, see you all later.